Street Fighter, the game that started it all for the franchise. I remember hearing about this game when I was younger, but never played it until I figured out how to use MAME, and that was back quite a few years ago. When it came to the Street Fighter series, I knew the sequels, especially Street Fighter 2. I actually owned Street Fighter 2 back when I was younger, and it was Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers on the Sega Genesis, and at a later time, I will end up reviewing that game. Street Fighter was developed and published by Capcom, and was originally released in the arcade in 1987. It was ported to home consoles and computers, such as the Amstrad CPC, Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MS-DOS, TurboGrafx, CD under the name Fighting Street, and of course, the ZX Spectrum. Now in Street Fighter, you play as Ryu, and your goal is to travel to five countries and beat up two enemies in each country. Those countries are USA, Japan, England, China, and Thailand. This is an international martial arts tournament to prove your strength. If you play this game with a friend, you can battle against Ken. Both Ryu and Ken have the same basic moves and special techniques, so if the second player does win, he will continue on with the remainder of the game. The other characters were pretty much enemies are Retsu, Geki, Joe, Mike, Lee, Jen, Birdie, Eagle, and Sagat. There is a bonus round with two bonus games. The first one is a brick breaking game, and the second one you're breaking a piece of wood. These will add additional points to your score, which is pretty cool, but other than that you get nothing else out of them. The graphics for Street Fighter in the arcade are great. The characters are well designed for its time, the stage designs are nice, the game is colorful, and I really like the backgrounds on some of these levels. The game doesn't really glitch at all, and I don't find any slowdowns. The game runs real smooth, which is nice. Some might find the characters to be a bit generic looking, but for what they are, I think they look great. The music and sound effects are alright. The music fits the game, and it is well composed. It's not a mangled bunch of shit, which is a definite plus. The sound effects are good, from the fighting noises and so on, and there is some voiceover work, but it sounds really awful and cheesy. Granted, around 1987, this is what they had for voice acting, and it's almost digitized, and the quality is not very good. Plus, when you get beat, the voiceover is really creepy. I won't say it's a huge flaw, but it's just really annoying after a while. Street Fighter can be a tough game, almost frustrating. With that being said, it's not the toughest game I've ever played. I can get past the first few fighters and even the first few countries, but there are times that even those fighters can be tough. The farthest I've ever made it was to Saga. That was a long time ago. While recording footage for this review, I did make it up to Birdie, and he's a big bastard that is tough as hell. And it's pretty funny because he's a big bastard, kind of mean looking, but he has a dumb name. Birdie? What kind of dumbass name their kid Birdie? Unless that's his nickname. Then you find out his name is like Maurice or something like that. No wonder he probably got made fun of in school. There was a few times I thought I had him beat and then he would hit me three hard hits and knock my ass out. That is another thing that is frustrating, is some of your opponents will beat you in two to three hits, where it takes you multiple hits to take them down. Also, the hit detection can be a real issue, which will make this game a bit more difficult. The controls are not bad, but could be better. First of all, the controls are a bit slower responding, and that can definitely be an issue when attacking your opponent and jumping out of the way. There are times when I'm pushing the buttons, and it almost takes a few seconds before Ryu even throws a punch or kick. The game is still playable, but they could be a lot better than this. Luckily, the controls were fixed in the later sequels to Street Fighter. Of course, in a game like this, and any fighting game for the most part, I am a button-mashing son of a bitch. So eventually, I will do a move that will knock the opponent's health bar down a good chunk. But most of the time, I'm just spamming kicks and all of that, and jumping in the air and kicking them and jumping back. It's just how I play fighting games. I know. There's going to be somebody out there. Uh, you, you just suck at fighting games. <laughs> yeah, well. These are video games, not a fucking way of life. Street Fighter is not a bad game. There was a time in the past that I thought it was a piece of shit, but once you play it and you actually look at the game for what it is, it's not horrible. Hell, I'd say for the first game of the series it's not horrible, but it does have a lot of flaws. The gameplay is enjoyable, the graphics are nice, the music is alright, and same with the sound effects. The voiceover work is annoying, cheesy, and a bit on the creepy side. The controls could be better, and the difficulty is tough and frustrating. I'm not going to say this game is awful. And really all Capcom had to do was make improvements in the later games, which they did. 
if you haven't played Street Fighter and you want to check it out, there's a few ways you can. Obviously, you can use MAME, or you can pick up the TurboGrafx CD version. That is, if you want to pay $200, although there are cheaper copies for $50, bucks, $49.85, and a Japanese version of the game for $25.99, which isn't too bad. That is, if your TurboGrafx CD can play Japanese games. I think your best bet, though, is to emulate the game on MAME, or use a TurboGrafx CD emulator. When it comes to sequels, there are a shitload of them, and there's even some spin-offs. Of course, you know about Street Fighter 2, and then there's Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4, then there are other Street Fighter games like Street Fighter 2010, The Final Fight, Street Fighter The Movie, The Game, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter EX, and then the most recent Street Fighter game, Street Fighter 5. And there's even some crossover games that feature Street Fighter characters. And at a later time, I plan to review quite a few games in the Street Fighter series. Obviously, you know my thoughts on Capcom, and you know I'm not in favor of them most of the time. I have done some video blogs on the Street Fighter series, including how they handled Street Fighter V. Hopefully, the next Street Fighter game they make is done in the right way. But I doubt that, because knowing Capcom, they know how to fuck things up. So I can't get my hopes up. I will say the last Street Fighter game I did enjoy was Street Fighter III. I'm not saying Street Fighter IV is horrible, but I think what kills it for me with the series in general is the multiple versions of the game. Look at Street Fighter II, there's multiple versions. I think Street Fighter III has a few versions. And then there's Street Fighter IV. Four, and it's just really ridiculous where you have fighting game franchises like the King of Fighters and Mortal Kombat that don't have ten fucking versions of the same game other than just adding a few characters. They might have one or two. And of course now they have collector's editions and definitive editions of games. But if you look back at Street Fighter 2, I know of at least four, if not five, different versions of the game, and it's ridiculous. Anyways, enough about my ranting. That is it for this review of Street Fighter. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.